consumers are very interested in accessing as much information as they can. They've got a lot of cost shifting that's going on. So their value, the value of knowing helps to weigh in their decisions as they're selecting treatments, as they're paying for, for procedures and treatments, and even selecting providers. Uh, I'd add the uh, consumer now is being faced with both information and incentives to change their behavior with regard to access and care. And I think uh, what's interesting from this survey is that there really is value in patients having information about uh, the state of their conditions and perhaps even diagnoses that, that they want to get to the bottom of and they see real value in that. Um, and increasingly they're having to pay for that value out of pocket. Um, and I, I think that's part of the, the mega trend here is that uh, consumers are going to be more discriminating with their own dollars about what they want out of uh, a healthcare interaction. We're, we're certainly, as, a, as we've said, we're moving into a very consumer-driven marketplace and environment. Uh, the relationship with the consumer becomes very important. The engagement, the ability to communicate with that consumer, that patient, uh, be transparent in regards to cost and procedures and access becomes very important. And the ability to maintain that relationship will become very important, that customer experience, if you will. Yeah, I think there's a very important uh, dimension here, which is uh, as we go through health reform, um, and particularly amongst the newly covered through exchanges, we're going to see patients with pretty significant deductibles and co-payments um, and that that's going to become the norm. It already has become the norm in the commercial sector uh, for many employers and, and uh, what, what patients and, uh, are, are going to look for is better information in advance of the service, particularly if it's elective. And I think that's what's been missing up till now. Um, you know, the interaction with the consumer from a financial point of view is a gotcha after the event. Um, uh, you know, you get a bill afterwards and you have no idea how big that bill is going to be going into the procedure. And I think hospitals in particular have got to do a much better job of providing sort of chooser tools for physicians, uh, for patients rather, to make sure that they uh, understand the financial consequences of, of the care that they're electing to have. Uh, and that's really not done smoothly yet. I think the key thing is to make sure that there are tools available to folks in admitting departments and uh, in terms of, uh, you know, pre-workup in clinic for consumers to have the whole experience that they're about to go through, including the financial experience, made transparent to them. I think that's a really important step to help uh, consumers feel more comfortable in their engagement with uh, hospital facilities. Now obviously if it's an emergency there's a completely different set of circumstances but a lot of procedures outpatient and inpatient are elective procedures where patients do have time to consider both the financial and the emotional consequences of this and I think part of the duty of caregivers is to really uh, engage with consumers more productively in that conversation.